Kelsa, the national fish of Bangladesh, was exported to neighboring India for several years during the Awami League government. Due to the high price, where the people of the country are deprived of the national fish, the decision to export Hilsa was opposed from the beginning from various quarters. After the fall of the Hisina government, the interim government was sworn in. Initially, it was said not to export Hilsa to India, but the government withdrew from that decision. On September 21, the Ministry of Commerce issued an order regarding permission to export 3,000 tons of Hilsa to India. The government's decision to export Hilsa started to be criticized from all sides. To know about these issues, the Law and Expatriate Welfare and Foreign Employment Advisor, Asif Nazarul was confronted by Khalid Muhadin, Editor-in-Chief of Address TV Broadcast from New York. Last year the actual export was 802 tons. The report was also published in the newspaper. And finally see how much the actual export will be this year. When I posted about Hilsa, I said, why is 500 tons of Hilsa being sent? To make India happy, those who don't give us water, those who kill at the border, but if there was a dignified relationship with India or a friendly relationship, in the light of this, people would not have a headache whether to export Hilsa or not, added Asif Nazarul. Referring to the submissive attitude of the then Awami League government towards India, he said, people are dying on the border and the success of the Bangladesh government was to bring the body. Sheikh Hasina's government supported that people were dying. He used to say, our people commit crimes, go to the border and die. But we don't get water, we don't protest for that. But the water of the Fini River is being given to India. It is taking transit through our country. But my country is not getting even a little transit from Nepal and Bhutan. Day after day the rulers of India used to make very derogatory insults about our country. It always occupied our minds. The Prime Minister of our country used to say about such a country, they will never forget what I have given to India. Then the question arose in my mind, is this your ancestral property, you will give whatever you want, said Asif Nazrul. Expressing anger, Asif Nazrul said, you are giving these things to a country which kills our people on the border, does not give water, does not give that. I said a lot from that anger. That government no longer exists. Now my government does not protest when killed at the border. Strongly protested. India's Home Minister Amit Shah recently gave a speech. Look how strongly his speech was worded. We have to see how our chief advisor talks about India. You have to see how I talked about India in the Protom ALO interview. Currently, there are many arguments about the export of Hilsa. Although the government of Bangladesh has changed, the behavior of the Indian government has not changed. The previous government, Awami League, did not speak harshly, but gave Hilsa. That means you are talking harshly and giving Hilsa. Is it symbolic that you will have the same relationship with India, just say some harsh words in between? Is this the case? Khalid Muhadin, in response to such a question. Asif Nazrul said, no, not like that. I have inquired about Hilsa export, heard different things. One thing has been said then, the revolution of our students had the support of the people of West Bengal. They held a program in front of our embassy there. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee strongly criticized the then Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, and a row arose over it. Hilsa is mainly going to the people of West Bengal. But these are not my arguments, these are what I have heard. Another thing, the total Hilsa being exported is 0.29%. The biggest thing is that we are going to realign our relationship with India. Moving towards establishing a balanced relationship. Where our Dani power plant, Rampal center, border killing issue is there, we do not want to message them on a relatively minor issue, hosty with you. We don't want to hit something as small as Hilsa as an attempt to create a balanced relationship, said Asif Nazarul. Mamata Banerjee is now in danger with a rape case in her country or her province. You are giving Hilsa fish to keep him safe. Modi government will be annoyed and embarrassed by this, that is your goal, this is also said by many. In response to the question of Khaled Muhadin, the advisor. Asif Nazrul said, I don't mean it that way. I have only heard that the people of West Bengal have supported our movement. Chief Minister Momata strongly condemned. 
stopping the sending of Hilsa means hospitality to the people of West Bengal, that's what I heard. Bangladesh has been exporting Hilsa fish to India before Dugopuja since 2019, during the rule of Awami League government. According to the information of the Ministry of Commerce, 476 tons in the fiscal year 2019 to 20, 1,699 tons in the fiscal year 2020 to 21, 1,230 tons in the fiscal year 2021 to 22, 1,391 tons in the fiscal year 2022 to 23, and 802 tons in the fiscal year 2023 to 24 have been exported. This time, there was uncertainty about this export for several days. Initially, the government decided not to export Hilsa to meet the domestic needs of the country, but later changed its decision, 